you freight train in the night. Roll on Mississippi, down past the sands of time. Gathering your tributaries to your watery breast from the mountains and the prairies of the east and west. Past the old plantation, past the plaque of mine. New Orleans will ease your worried mind Oh, Mississippi Roll on, Mississippi Down to that southern sea Mississippi, like a dying gambler's plea. Haunted cries neath Delta skies float upon the waves. Teardrops from the heavens wash down on the graves of the dreamers and the schemers who passed this way before. Oil and flood, sweat and blood no more. Oh, Mississippi. Mississippi as history unfolds Roll on Mississippi Many questions do you hold Like how you knowing Where you going Such a muddy stream you find your way Half forgotten dream Cheyenne Sioux Kickapoo Fox and Chickasaw All the cards Were marked before the draw
Mississippi. My name is Johnny Nicholas. I've been playing music since I was 13 years old. I've had a lot of different guitars throughout my life, and I've been very blessed to play with some of the great artists of American music because I was very, uh, very interested in the records that I heard when I was a kid, and I went out and tried to find all the guys that played that stuff, and I was very fortunate. Well, this instrument is a about a late 1800s Washburn parlor guitar is what they called it because it's very small. But obviously it's got a big, big sound. This guitar was um, purchased up in Ann Arbor. I didn't, this is not my, this, this is a funny story on this guitar. My good friend Tom Stevenson was playing up in Ann Arbor. Uh, there was a great music scene up there in the early 70s and I was a part of it. And I met this guy, Tom, and we became real good friends. And uh, I was rambling all the time at that time from, uh, home base was Ann Arbor, but I'd come down to Louisiana, Texas, out to California, wherever there was a good music scene or some gigs or a woman that I was after or, you know, how that goes when you're young. And this, uh, Tom bought this guitar, and I don't know exactly where he bought it, but he, it needed a bunch of work. And he took it to Danny Earlwine, and Danny Earlwine's a very well-known uh, musician from up there and uh, luthier. Um, and Danny did some work on it and, you know, got it playable. Um, the guitar had these holes in it. We don't know what or who had done that or when. Um, so it's kind of a mystery, it adds a little bit of character, but this thing has, uh, for a little bit of guitar, it's got a... It's got a big sound. guitar man is magic everybody people come come over to my house or you know come here and they everybody wants to play this guitar because it's just so it's just there's nothing like them man I mean there's and people are making some amazing guitars nowadays but the thing is you it takes a guitar just like anything else it it, it needs some age on it to really you know, get sweet, and that's why this one is just, you know. 